All right, so today, after several weeks of looking at sheets functions and kind of prepping the field for moving into creating dashboards and Looker and Data Studio and that kind of thing, focusing on Google Keep may seem like a deviation, um, but it's not, and here's why. It's because the best note-taking tool is like the best camera that you've got. It's the one in your hand, right? So Google Keep, kind of like Google Tasks uh, and using the sidebars, Google Keep is everywhere. And it's a very simple, yellow sticky-like note-taking tool that you can get to from literally anywhere in the Google uh, system. So we're looking at it right now. To get to it, once you're signed in, you just go to keep.google.com, right? That'll bring up this application interface. And it's really simple. You can tell it kind of looks like a yellow sticky, right? It includes little images if you have a URL or a picture or a link uh, that you've dropped in to your note. But it's very simple. You come in here, take a note. Ah, if I could spell it, you could have a title. Title to my note. And right here, there's a couple of different things that you can use to organize your notes, right? So down along the bottom, if you click Remind Me, there are obviously time-based ones, but you can also use Pick a Place. So that does a geographic reminder. If you are also got the Keep app on your phone, that will send reminders to your phone whenever you pull into the parking lot at the grocery store or you pull into your parking lot at work or something like that. Um, so you can set reminders. You can add collaborators. So you can add other people that are on Google to be able to be able to also access that note. Super, super helpful. Um, you can apply colors. So colors, let's say you want to use red for important, yellow for uh, just a note or general interest, maybe uh, blue for personal or something like that. And then they've also got custom backgrounds that you can use. You can add an image. So if you're on your phone or you have a picture that you want to add to it, uh, and then you can archive. And archive, I'm going to get into it as we go into Keep this week, but archive is really interesting because you can kind of take it out of this area that you're looking at and still be able to access it via search and labels and colors and that kind of stuff. So you can kind of keep your notes organized and manageable, store everything in an archive and still search and get it. Uh, if I keep going along the bottom, you've got delete. You can add labels. I think there's like 2,000 different uh, labels that you can add. Uh, you can create your own. Um, you can add a drawing. So if you've got a touch screen or something like that, uh, you can make a copy if you need to make multiple. Let's say you use one keep note as a template and then you want to make uh, use of that template. You just make a copy and start typing that individual one. It uses checkboxes. You can see that down here where I've got a series of checkboxes that it actually shows which is checked and which is not. Um, and then you can also copy your notes to Google Docs. And the cool thing about this is you can copy an individual note. You can drag and drop it into a doc. You can select several notes and drop all those and create a Google document from all those notes. Um, so really, really versatile. But let me show you this, because if I go to email, this is where it becomes really, really important. If I go over here, I've got keep notes right there. If I'm in a document, I can get to my Keep Notes right here. If I'm in Google Drive, I can get to my Keep Notes in here. And anything that you set as a reminder will show up on your calendar as a, um, as a reminder or a task, uh, either by day or even by day and specific time. So Google Keep, well worth checking out. We're going to go into it this week and talk about the different ways in which you can use Google Keep uh, as kind of glue as you're copying and pasting to build more complex stuff in Google. All right. Hope that helps.